Warning, Dr. Robert Morse destroys people's health. And if you're someone that doesn't know who Dr. Robert Morse is, he is one of these fruitarian occult leaders out there that is very dogmatic and idealistic and tells people to eat mainly fruit and do loads of things for detoxification, such as buying his very overpriced herbs and doing other various things that actually are meant to be healing people, at least what he tends to think heals people. But the matter of fact is, so much of what he actually promotes is actually very dangerous for people. Yet the people that follow him get so brainwashed by him and tend to do what he is telling them to do over a long period of time. And I'm telling you now, I used to be on a fruitarian diet for around two years. So I have met so many people over, let's say even the last six years when I used to be vegan for around six years until recently. And if you don't know why I made the switch to a carnivore based diet, you can click the link up above now and check that out. Is that with every single person that I have met that has got on his protocols and his dietary recommendations, at first, they look really, really good. But as they start to do it over a long period of time, they tend to get very malnourished and deteriorate at a rapid rate. And I have seen this with so many different people. Some of them close to me, some people are acquaintances, some people that I've seen through online social media platforms and they just become very, very skinny, weak, and malnourished. And they don't look healthy in any way whatsoever. But yet, when you speak to these people, and you start to hear what they have to say about what is going on with them, and why their body has started to look like they are Jack Skeleton in real life, they just say, it's because I'm healing and detoxifying. And this is what happens. You have to break down the body so much that you've almost wasted away completely to actually heal yourself of all health issues and symptoms because this is what it gets people to believe time and time again. Which yes, you can have toxicity within the body, most people do, and it can cause health issues and symptoms. But doing it to such an extreme way where you're completely breaking the body down and not rebuilding it whatsoever with the necessary building blocks because on these fruit-based diets, it doesn't have all the essential fatty acids and minerals and vitamins and other essential nutrients for you to rebuild the body as effectively as possible. And the more detoxification you do within your body, the more you deplete nutrients within the body. So you're gonna need the most nutrient-dense diet possible that has the widest variety of the most nourishing foods as you can possibly put within your diet and within your body. And when you're eating just exclusively fruits, oh my God, it's just not good in any way, shape or form. But these people, again, get brainwashed with things that Dr. Robert Morse says, and actually he's not even a real doctor. If you do your research into that, he is not a doctor whatsoever, yet a lot of people tend to believe that he is. So back on what I was gonna say, that he says that we are frugivores by design. So we should be trying to work towards eating a fruit-based diet. But this is all based on his ideologies and his dogmatic views. There's no scientific truth to what he says whatsoever. It is a load of garbage. But it seems that the individuals that listen to him seem to be not the most switched on people that are very susceptible people to be brainwashed by someone like him. And if you do some research into him, you'll also find out that he used to be part of a spiritual cult and movement out there. And wow, that makes a lot of sense to me. I didn't know this until quite a while ago, but yeah, it just makes a lot of sense. He does seem like one of these spiritual cultish leaders out there that just seems to speak in a way that a lot of people just believe everything he says as gospel. But man, these people need to wake up because I've seen so many friends listen to him and just go downhill and they just go so far down the rabbit hole, it's very hard for them to get out. And it's very sad to see people do it to themselves because to me, from an outsider's 
perspective. They are just destroying their body and it's not a very self-loving thing to be doing whatsoever. And it can be very dangerous and detrimental to the point where they just really, really harm themselves where they have to then be in a certain situation where they could really harm their health in such a negative way. And some people even end up in hospital due to the advice that he gives and them following it so strictly, even when they're getting signs that it's not good for them, they keep doing it and yeah, the end result is they have some really negative consequences, which is not good whatsoever. And I'm someone that wants to make a lot of people aware about this. And when I've mentioned this before in videos, oh my God, you get so many of his cult followers on my videos saying, oh, but he heals people of so many different serious chronic health issues and symptoms. But guess what? I've never seen any of them whatsoever when I've actually met them. How many of you actually met in your reality that have healed themselves from many different health issues and symptoms. Because guess what? The majority of people are just saying things from what they've seen online. But if you actually get out in the real world, like I have and met a lot of people that have been following it, you'll start to see that actually the proof is in the pudding. You look at these people and it's really evident that what they're doing is not working for them whatsoever. So this was a clinical, peer-reviewed, controlled, study, which is one of the best types of ways to do a study. And they were testing people to see if they had gluten intolerance. So guess what? They said to every participant, we're gonna give you gluten. They didn't actually give any of them gluten. And guess what? They all got symptoms of someone that had a gluten intolerance because they believed it. So that is how good the placebo effect is. And I used to be one of these people. I used to beat myself up when I used to eat certain good whole foods that were not fruit based and certain cooked foods and I would just feel so awful from it. But then I got to a point where one of my girlfriends at the time made me aware that I was doing this and it wasn't the best thing. Then I started being grateful for the food, started thinking very positive thoughts when eating it and just having a very positive internal experience. And then guess what? I found that I started getting no negative effects from the food that I was eating that wasn't fruit based and only pure positive beneficial effects. And something that's really funny as well, people have said to me on videos that I've made about him before, is that, look at him, he looks so amazing. What, with all that white hair and looking overweight? He doesn't look healthy whatsoever. And when you actually listen to him videos, he is all over the place. You ask him one question about one thing and then he's over here and here and here and here and here and he'd just go off on a tangent for around an hour or so on so many things that are completely irrelevant. And he just seems to be one of these amazing older men, amazing, that is just a brilliant storyteller. He talks about when he used to be a breatharian and when he used to do fruitarianism, this and that and that. And yeah, people love storytellers. So that's why I believe a lot of people listen to him. And he doesn't even follow his own dietary advice and other advice as well. So it's like, if he's not doing it, then why would you do it? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. From what I'm aware of, he eats so many different cooked foods and a lot of unhealthy processed ones and other certain foods that have animal foods contained within them. Yet he gets people to go on a fruitarian diet that is void of all animal foods. Then guess what? That is absolutely dangerous. We, in our natural environment, would eat things such as fish and meat which are amazing whole foods that are super, super nutrient rich in essential fatty acids and minerals and other nutrients that will help optimize your health holistically. And that's why we have so many vegans left, right and center that are not been thriving on all different types of vegan diets, including fruitarian diets that then go back to eating high quality pasture raised meat and wild caught fish and other animal foods and they start to actually resolve all of their health issues and symptoms quite quickly. Because finally, they're getting all the nutrients that they've been lacking for so long due to being on a malnourishing vegan diet and then they are getting what they need to be the healthiest version of themselves and the happiest version of themselves so they can have the best human experience possible, which we all deserve. So yeah, be warned about this guru, Dr. Robert Morse, that's not even a real doctor, and make sure that you share this video with other people so they can become aware of him as well. So if you've got any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, 
share and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your amazing day just like I will and have an amazing Christmas. Peace.